Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to continue uh, our advertisement learning and uh, and in this tutorial we are going to learn about flags. We will see what are the flags and why we include them in the advertisement packets. So let's start. So another feature uh, that we can add in our advertisement packet are the flags. The flags are would uh, show the device's uh, supported features. So there are uh, two basic uh, features that are shown in these flags. The first one is the device's discoverability and uh, the second one is the device's support. The advertising device can uh, show that it is going to advertise for a limited time or not. For example, if in our application uh, we want uh, to show the master device or the scanning devices that uh, we are going to advertise for limited time only and then the advertisement will be closed. If we include this uh, flag it does not mean that uh, we have done the settings for uh, the limited discoverability. For this uh, we need to do some additional coding for making our device uh, limited uh, discoverable uh, for a limited time. So for that we set the advertisement or advertisement timing. So for example we, we set our device's uh, advertisement to timeout after a specific time. If you don't know about this, just watch my previous tutorial and uh, in uh, my st first tutorial on advertisement uh, would explain everything. So we can include uh, these flags and uh, these flags are 8-bit only. So they have there are limited number of uh, flags that we can show in our advertisement packet. So advertising device can also show if it supports uh, BR, EDR, uh, enhanced data rate. Uh, the Bluetooth was uh, the legacy Bluetooth and uh, the LE is the low energy, which is the new protocol. So it uh, shows if it supports the old uh, uh, Bluetooth devices or not. So we can add this. So one thing to mention here is that NRF devices are LE only. So uh, they support uh, the LE role only. So we add these flags mostly for LE. Now let's see what are the options available in the flags. So the first option is the limited discoverability. If uh, our device is uh, uh, timeout after some time, for example, 60 seconds, uh, the after 60 seconds of advertisement, the device is timeout then we can set this flag to uh, limited discoverability to let the master device know that uh, this device is advertising for a limited time. If it's uh, advertising for unlimited time un until it con uh, connects with the device, so then we can set it to general discoverability and uh, we can set it to BR, EDR not supported. So one thing to, m uh, one extra thing to mention here is that we can also mix up the flags that uh, we can say uh, hey, my device is generally discoverable and also uh, the BR EDR is not supported. So we can also do that. Uh, 0 to 4 bits are here and they have uh, their specified flag, uh, but uh, the reserve, there are 5 to uh, 7 bits are reserved and these 3 bits uh, does not show any type of flag. So generally the Bluetooth devices will be able to know about these uh, flags but uh, if you set something uh, around these bits uh, the devices uh, won't be able to recognize what does these flags mean so because they are reserved so you don't have to set these uh, bits so for the uh, for the flags well we will see how we can set it uh, in NRF devices it's really easy so now let's uh, start the programming and let's see how we can uh, set the flags uh, then we can, then we will see them in our advertisement packets Okay, now let's see in the programming. So first, uh, we g open this PC and go into the C directory. Here we have NRF SDK. Go into the examples. In my projects, here is our base project. So this time we are just going to see our base project and uh, let's open it. So I'm using a PC of uh, 10056. So I will open this one. Go into the SES. Uh, folder and open the em project file so here uh, if we go into the advertisement in it uh, we can see this line of code uh, this line of code is basically the including of flags so here we can see uh, the flag that we have included is ble gap advertisement flags le only so it shows that our device is just uh, 
uh, low energy only device so it does not support the BR EDR and uh, it's a generally discoverable mode so uh, its advertisement is for an unlimited time so basically we are just setting this flag but actually if we want to set our advertisement time we will set it from here so app advertisement duration so if we set it to zero it's unlimited so we will set it from here so actually uh, the flags uh, just show something but uh, we have to do the settings of ourselves so we can include this and we have other flags as well so if you want to see the other flags right click on this and click on go to definition and here you can see all the other flags that are available so limited discoverability and uh, other and here you can see that uh, these are uh, the flags that we mostly use in this we show that uh, our device is LE only and its discoverability is limited and uh, we have uh, this flag uh, which shows uh, it's uh, generally discoverable uh, so uh, it does not have any uh, limitations on advertisement so that's it for the flags and uh, I hope so you have learned something new today keep watching and uh, keep learning and uh, if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments below Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.